Hi guys, today's lesson is about key details. Now in reading, key details are important parts of a story that help us to understand what happens and what the story is about. They also tell us about the characters in the story as well as where the story takes place. So they're little facts or um, almost like adjectives, so describing words that tell us about either the characters in the story, what the story is about, what happens, and where it takes place. So we can use those key details that are in a story to help us describe the characters, the setting, and major events. So today I'm gonna to read Mother Bruce, and I'm gonna write down the key details that I find out about Bruce. This will help me to later be able to write a sentence describing the character Bruce. So I have a piece of paper right here and a marker and I'm going to write down the key details about the main character as I go along. Mother Bruce. Bruce was a bear who lived all by himself. He was a grump. Now this page has a lot of key details. The first one I would say is a bear, right? He lives alone. That tells us part of the setting. And it also says he's a grump, so that means he's grumpy, right? That was a ton of key details just on the first page. Okay, let's turn the page and then find out what happens next. See if we can find any more key details. He did not like the rain. He did not like sunny days. He did not like cute animals. So we can also say he doesn't like a lot of things. Is that the key detail about that character? Bruce only liked one thing, eggs. He collected them from all over the forest. Good morning, Mrs. Sparrow. So that's another key detail we can actually write down. We can write only likes eggs. Look how many key details I already have so far. I'm not even done with the book yet. Bruce didn't eat eggs raw like the other bears. Instead, he cooked them into fancy recipes that he found on the internet. So what's something else with this? Only likes cooked eggs. One day, Bruce came across a recipe for hard-boiled goose eggs drizzled with honey salmon sauce. So he went out to get the ingredients. First, he caught a few salmon. Then he collected honey from a local beehive. He liked to, to support local businesses, you see. Last, he went to Mrs. Goose's nest to pay her a visit. Are these eggs free range organic? At home, Bruce prepared the eggs for hard boiling. But the fire in his stove fizzled. So he went out to get more wood. When Bruce came back, he was met with an unwelcome surprise. Bruce became the victim of mistaken identity. 
Bruce wanted hard boiled eggs, not gooselings. He's supposed he could settle for butter gooselings on toast. But for some reason, he lost his appetite. Bruce scooped up the little geese and stomped back to their nest. I will have to ask Mrs. Goose about her return policy, only to find Mrs. Goose had flown south early. Be back in April. Bruce left the goose gooselings there anyways and went back home. But he was followed. Mama, Mama. Bruce was very stern and said things like, go away, and I am not your mother. And also, I liked you better when you were eggs. Bruce could take it no longer and became extra grumpy with them. Roar! So I feel like we could also say it as a key detail, he didn't like or doesn't like when the eggs hatch. didn't work. Gooselings always follow their mother, even if she is a he and he is a bear. Mama? Bruce was stuck with them. He tried to make the best of it. It was hard work. Bleh. As the seasons pass, Bruce watched the pesky goose gooselings grow older. Annoying baby geese, stubborn teenage geese, boring adult geese. Then one fall afternoon, he saw other goose families flying south. Finally, he'd be rid of those geese. And then he could take a long winter nap. Bruce explained migration. But they didn't listen. Bruce needed to give geese. Bruce needed the geese to leave, so he got creative. Nothing worked. These geese would not leave Bruce. Sigh. So Bruce decided to pack some bags and take his geese into town. They boarded the bus and migrated to Miami. Now, every winter, Bruce and his geese head south together. They laze about at the beach in tacky shirts, sipping ice cold lemonade while Bruce dreams of new recipes. Recipes that don't hatch. Mama? So that was Mother Bruce. Now, now what I could do is I could look at these key details and I could take any one of these and help me describe the main character. So if I wanted to describe Bruce, I could say Bruce is a bear who lives alone. He is very grumpy and only likes cooked eggs. I could say that. Or I could say a sentence maybe, Bruce is a bear who lives alone that does not like when the eggs hatch. Or Bruce is a bear who is very grumpy and does not like a lot of things. There's lots of ways you could use these key details to describe the main character. Now it is your turn to go to the Google form and try it out yourself.